Hotep Senuena Senut, E.T. Ren Ishakandugu Kemet. We're going to deal with the Zionist influence of the Morris Science Temple of America, otherwise known as MSTA. Bear in mind that I did not say the Zionist origin of the MSTA, but influence, if you want to know about the origin of the MSTA, and ultimately of the NOI, or in other words, the Asiatic black men. I invite you to watch the video entitled Deception of Asiatic Black Men. I'm quoting from the book Chameleon, the true story of W.D. Fard, written by Dr. A.K. Arian, page 102. In 1925, Drew packed his things and moved to Bronzeville. Now calling himself Nobu Drew Ali, he formed a new organization, the Morris Science Temple of America. The name was borrowed in part from the Morris Zionist Temple, a tiny congregation of African American Jews headquartered in Harlem. Same book, page 101 to 102. In New Work, Drew built himself as a divinely guided shaman capable of curing everything from artery disease to zits. He preached on soap boxes and handed out flyers describing himself as a professor and the Egyptian adept student. He also held meetings at the Newark home where he lodged. So since we were told about Newark as a location, I'm going to share something. Now, oh, it's a bit small, I'll make it larger. But this is an article from the website of the Times of Israel. And the title is Yiddish Black Cantos from 100 years ago, rediscovered thanks to rare recordings. Here you have a larger picture of the Moorish Zionist temple of the Moorish Jews. And if you do a search for new work, you will reach this place. Because this article is actually talking about Thomas LaRue. In French, it's LaRue, but Thomas LaRue was a Yiddish speaking singer widely known in the interwar period as Der Schwarzer Kazan or the Black Canto. So we are told, although long for long forgotten now larue who sometimes who sometimes used the surname jones was among the favorites of yiddish theater and cantorial music reportedly raised in newark new jersey by a single mother who was drawn to judaism he even drew interest from beyond the u.s now i'm going to share another article This website is managed by Henry Saposnik. And if you do a search for new work, or oh, by the way, the title of this article is Thomas LaRue Jones, The Black Cantor. And here you have a depiction of Thomas LaRue. Just above his name, it says, the most phenomenal canto tenor in America, the only one of his kind in the world. 
So if you do a search for new work, this is what you will find. Is it large enough here? Well, it's a bit small, I admit. Hold on. What about now? Well, it's a bit better here. But we don't have everything, do we? Let me see now. Okay, that will do. So it says, though there is uncertainty about his personal life, one thing which is clear is LaRue's association with Newark, New Jersey, which, like Harlem at the time, was a hotbed of Jewish and black cultural life. In the April 8, 1922 Amer African American newspaper, The New York Age, the columnist Lucien H. White introduces his readers to LaRue as a young Negro whose mother accepted the religious beliefs of the Hebrews and raised up her son in that way. He quotes LaRue, It began with my mother. She lived in Newark where she found race prejudice to be very strong. She could make friends only with Jewish women pretending, I'm sorry, preferring the company of Jews to Christians. So as you have seen, and I will put that for you again, we, we went from the Moorish Zionist temple of the Moorish Jews to the Moorish Science Temple of America. Drew lived in Newark, and in Newark, there was a very strong influence of uh, Judaism. Now, lastly, just for the record, right here, underneath the sign that says the Moorish Zionist Temple of the Moorish Jews, it appears to me like it's the American flag because of the stars and because it is standing next to another flag which is the flag for the state of Israel nowadays so I presume that since here Drew Ali is holding the American flag there I assume that this is the flag of Morocco so it appears that not only Drew Ali was influenced for the name of his organization, going from the Moorish Zionist Temple to the Moorish Science Temple, but also influenced with the holding of the flags. So thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. And if I'm allowed to by the Necheru, I will definitely have a back at you. Hotel.